This is Dr. K. Rajendra Prasad. I am working as professor and head for the departments of CAC Data Science and CAC Cyber Security. Today my topic is uh, one of the important phase in the compelling redesign that is uh, syntax analysis. Prior to that, already we have discussed the major ideas of lexical analyzer. What is the output of lexical analyzer is uh, to generating the some sequence of valid of tokens. That is we have to discuss it in the last class. In that we have discussed it clearly. So how can you generate the lexical analyzer? What is the lex? What is the lex tool? So what is the output of the lex tool? So what is the compilation process of the lex? So for understanding of uh, for in the in the for understanding of uh, getting the some sequence of uh, valid tokens means with the help of lexical analyzer. You are getting the what is the exactly the output is uh, some sequence of uh, valid tokens. Determining uh, whether the lexim, lexim is also called as uh, token. So determining the some sequence of uh, lexims uh, with uh, valid cases only. So this uh, we have observed uh, in the last class. Today is uh, we come to another important part of the compiler design that is called as uh, syntax analysis. In the syntax analysis. According to the syntax analysis, as per the naming, so what you understanding is uh, you find the the syntaxes of uh, the user given uh, instructions in the high level programming language. Means when a user is writing the some programming, uh, there for some set of instructions. So here you can find uh, whether the instructions are given properly or not according to the syntactic structure of the programming language statement. This is a major idea of uh, Syntax analysis. So here we have to discuss the first point is regarding to a grammar. What do you mean of grammar is because of for any programming language, you want to determine only for valid strings means valid tokens of the particular language, and we can make use of those tokens with according to some particular structure. So what is the structure? What is the format of the structure? Uh, that idea is uh, given by some set of rules. Those rules are defined uh, in one of the ideas is called as uh, grammar. So here we have to go for the grammar is uh, nothing but simply with the help of uh, four variable combinations. Grammar G equal to V nothing but set of variables and T nothing but set of terminals and P is very important. Uh, P it defines the production. It is called as uh, production. So it is also called as uh, rule. Means uh, you want to determining uh, some uh, uh, some syntactic structure of the particular instructions. Nothing but how nothing but uh, with the help of the any specification of the rules or with the help of uh, productions. Means here production or rules are meaning of the meaning is set. So means uh, in the grammar basically that can be defined uh, with the help of the rules. Those rules are called as uh, Grammatical rules. The rules are called as uh, grammatical rules. With the help of the grammatical rules, uh, so you should uh, derive the some grammatical structure. This grammatical structure is called as uh, syntactic structure. So that is we have to getting uh, the idea with the, by in the first line of a statement. So hence, uh, so the first line what said nothing but a grammar gives syntactic specification of your programming language. So, what is the syntactic specification? How nothing but uh, with the help of the set of productions or set of uh, rules. This set of productions or set of rules uh, telling that exactly the particular programming language statement or particular instruction is uh, according to the some particular structure, particular syntactic structure. So, that is the idea of uh, syntactic uh, specification. And coming another case is uh, uh, for certain classes of the grammar. We can construct automatically an efficient parser that determines the syntactic structure of the source program. Means here we have to remember what are the important uh, words uh, in this point is uh, class of the grammar because of uh, many classes of the grammar are there. Okay, we discuss later for the different class of the grammar. For example, here I am taking one important class of the grammar is uh, CFG. CFG. It is called as uh, this class is called as uh, C nothing but context, uh, F nothing but free, this is a free, context free and uh, graph. This kind of uh, particular class you can make use of 
make make use more frequently in a programming language. Means uh, CFG is very useful. Okay, uh, in any programming language, we can make use uh, very frequently. What kind of class of grammar is but uh, CFG one? It's called as uh, context free grammar. So this is the class of grammar. For example, here, what class you are recommending more frequently in any other programming language? Nothing but the particular class is called as a context-free grammar, and we can construct automatically efficient parser. What do you mean of parser? So we discuss coming slide or the parser is. So now up to now the brief idea of the parser is the so it will arrange any uh, sequence of tokens. What you obtain the output of the lexical analyzer this called as sequence of tokens. You can arrange a sequence of tokens according to particular structure according to particular structure. So that is the idea of a parser. That is the action of the parser. So this efficient parser that determines okay. So what is measured is a syntactic structure syntactic structure of the source program. So means you. You analyzing these two very important points uh, under the syntax uh, analysis means uh, the first point regard to that uh, according to the grammatical structure only you can arranging uh, any programming language statement or any particular uh, instruction or uh, you have you have specified so you can verifying uh, whether the instruction or programming language statement that can be arranged according to the grammar rules or not and the second one is. Uh, you are taking uh, any kind of class of the grammar. For example, here I am taking the context free grammar. So, with all the context free grammar, what happens? Nothing but you can efficiently construct the, some kind of a parser. So, the parser measure ID is uh, arranging uh, any user language statement uh, or any user instruction according to the syntax structure of the source program. Suppose it is not possible, you are getting the errors. So, this is the major idea of uh, syntax uh, analysis. So here we are, we come to you that uh, the syntax analysis you performing uh, with the development of uh, the basic idea is called as a parser and another one is called as a role of the parser. So we are discussing uh, these two ideas, uh, parser and role of the parser. These two are very important uh, uh, in what phase nothing but uh, syntax analysis phase of the compiler design. So parsing nothing but uh, in the compiler design it refers to the pro process uh, of analyzing. A sequence of tokens to determine its grammatical structure with respect to specified grammar. Means uh, here, what action you have taken in the parsing nothing but uh, initially you should collect uh, some uh, sequence of tokens uh, from the previous phases uh, lexical analyzer phase. Means uh, when you going to construct the compiler construction, first you should interact with uh, what the phase is uh, lexical analysis, analysis uh, phase. In the lexical analysis phase, uh, you try to produce what the output is uh, sequence of tokens. After collecting the sequence of tokens uh, from the lexical analysis phase, uh, we should arrange uh, all these tokens uh, according to grammatical rules uh, specified in the grammar capital G. Means that is already we discussed. Uh, so, one of the third will be capital P is uh, productions or rules. According to the rules, uh, you know what are the grammar rules or what is the grammar structure. So means uh, you can verify that uh, whether it is possible or not uh, for arranging the programming language statement uh, according to the grammatical structure. This is the idea of uh, the first statement. And the second one is uh, what is the role of the parser? It is also very important. So in the compiler design, so initially what you what you doing nothing but so obtains the string of tokens from the lexical analyzer. It is already discussed. Verify the string of tokens. Uh, it is very important. This comes the uh, role of the parser. So, what the role of the parser is uh, verifying the string of uh, tokens can be generated by the grammar or not for the source programming language statement. And after that, uh, another role is uh, suppose uh, as per the grammar, the tokens are arranged. Okay, it is okay. So, as per the grammar rules, uh, not arranged, nothing but say it cannot follow the any syntactic structure of the program language statement. That's why it reports the syntax here as uh, means if anything uh, happens wrongly with the program language uh, statement. Means uh, here the duty or role of the parser is uh, initially it will try to arrange uh, all tokens according to the grammar rules. It is not possible 
to simply repos the errors to the user some syntax error is uh, found so this uh, i think these two rules are very uh, these two rules are very important uh, come to the parser point of view so means uh, here you understanding the action of the parser is very important uh, in the what space nothing but uh, syntax analysis space so syntax analysis space nothing but uh, so you may immediately you know the thing is uh, it will arrange uh, all received tokens from the lexical analyzer according to the grammar rules suppose uh, it is not possible to arrange uh, all obtained tokens uh, according to the structure of the syntax uh, or according to the structure of the grammatical rules uh, then immediately it was the error so it is the uh, uh, idea of uh, regarding to role of the parser you check the diagram it indicates the entire for the parser action i will discuss already parser action so another one is the uh, role of the parser role of the parser so with this diagram you imagine these two ideas what are the parser action is this indicate parser is receiving the tokens okay because of some in incoming i think some arrow is there to was to a parser from lexical analyzer means in initially you write some kind of program language program language source program and after that you can apply this as the input for the lexical analyzer so language program is by they have the many number of statements any number of statements one statement to write that okay it may be declaration statement or it may be any input output statement or if any or control statement that you are assuming so all these statements from this all these statements we have to statement one we have to collect the what the tokens statement two what are the tokens like that we have to collect the all tokens from various program language statement that is already typed by the user so these are output of the lexical analyzer so lexical analyzer i think you take the source program it is provided by the user itself only so after reading the source program by the lexical analyzer what will do nothing but it will separate the each and every program language into some sequence of uh, tokens suppose i am taking the n number of uh, statements are there s1 s2 and so on uh, sn n number of program language statements are there you try to convert all these program language statement into some number of uh, tokens so it is a uh, output you have to getting from the lexical analyzer so after that here the parser action is very important parser is receiving the some of these sequence of tokens from the lexical analyzer after that it will arrange according to grammar rules according to syntactic structure then it generate the output is some kind of tree this called as a parse tree this called as a parse tree for example i am taking the the statement is a equal to b plus c so what the parse tree nothing but you have to getting like this this a uh, some kind of uh, parse tree so you can read like this in this flow again you get back the same a equal to b plus uh, c this is about this kind of parse tree you are generating so now we are assuming this is some for example i am taking the language statement is uh, a equal to b plus c for the tokens are nothing but a comma i equal comma b comma plus comma c these are the tokens and uh, after taking the individual tokens so from the lexical analyzer uh, by the parser again in the parsing you you find some actions okay what the action is in but it will receive the some uh, grammar rules uh, from the uh, particular programming language statement so according to the grammar rules uh, it will arrange this uh, received all tokens individual tokens according to some structure the structure is called as a parse tree this is the output of the parse tree this is the output of the parse tree so after that it will pass to this uh, parse tree structure for the remaining part, part of the uh, this compiler construction this test uh, of the front end and meanwhile if any information is required suppose you have provide some data a suppose a b value b and c are input values those information that can be stored in the symbol table the variable values b and c are stored in the symbol table so while arranging uh, this structure this structure a equal to b plus c before that you will check if any values are there b and c values in the symbol table yes it find the values also suppose i am taking the values b is 2 and c equal to 3 at that time 
it produce what kind of synthesis nothing but like this two plus and three types so means there's a need of decimal table while performing the any syntax structure of the program language statement it make use of the symbol table also it finds the input values also so actually the original t is like this we are getting is it t this that thing so after interacting with the symbol table what the b and c values are 2 and 3 so finally you getting the structure is a equal to 2 plus 3 this i think you are getting the, the exact output of a positive for this the example so means here i am defining what the parser is a parser nothing but it will uh, arrange the given program language statement according to the some uh, structure syntactic structure that 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 should be obtained the syntax structure obtained from the specified rules of the particular grammar this is about the parser and role of the parser is a, so after the arranging uh, all the all receive tokens from the lexic analyzer and it will uh, again become one complete structure that is called as a parsity structure and uh, while arranging the parsity if any syntax errors are there means uh, when comparing the rules of the grammar with uh, the arranged structure if any mismatch is found immediately report the error report the errors to the user that is the role of the parser so that is we have to discuss the uh, in the parser and the role of the parser the, according to this uh, schematic uh, diagram and uh, we have to this the same points are mentioned for redefined programs the parser constructs a parse tree and passes it to the rest of the compiler for further processing so means uh, initially we will take uh, some tokens tokens is the input of the parser this is happen after that suppose the tokens are like this these are the tokens and uh, what type of output we have to get in nothing but the parse tree the parse tree becomes this is a parse tree this becomes a parse tree suppose any while generating the parse tree it interacts with the some uh, symbol table also this is called as symbol table if any values are there we can associate the remaining input values of the b and c at that time you are getting the, the statement is uh, exactly Like this, so this is the idea of uh, first uh, line of the statement. The parser and rest of the front end uh, uh, implement by the single mod. What the front end nothing but uh, after the getting the, this uh, uh, parsity, you know the process of combination process may be successful. Okay, after what what happens in the run run time stack? You must maintain run time stack and uh, you try to retrieve the values and you try for generating the values, generating the models. Okay, the, that all things you are getting under the front. So here we have we have to define two types of important parsers. One is the tabular parser and the bottom parser. So I think these are some separate topics. Maybe we are interacting with the coming classes. But now I will give some one line of statement, one line of idea. What is the tabular parser and the bottom parser is? Tabular nothing but uh, actually you start from the root root of the parsity because already obtain the parsity in the syntax analyzer. You you got the idea. Parser nothing but we have the root node and uh, Some uh, internal nodes or intermediate nodes and leaf leaves, okay. So leaf nodes. So this is the idea of the uh, parsing. So from the parsing generation, so you are applying one technique is top down parser. What do you mean of top down parser? Nothing but uh, we start from the root of the parsing to and uh, leaf nodes of the parsing. So that action we are getting in the top down parser. So under the top down parser, we are interacting with many number of uh, different top down parsers. So we are interacting with these on your coming classes. And the bottom of parser is this is the reverse of the top down parser. Means uh, we start the parsing action from the leaf nodes of the parsity to some root. That's the idea of uh, bottom of the parser. So here uh, I am giving what is the because the grammar is playing very important role in the syntax analyzer. Because of the syntax analyzer phase, uh, it will arrange any programming language statement according to some syntactic structure. So you should obtain the syntactic structure according to the grammar rules only. So what is the exact grammar thing? But uh, I, I am defining some representation representation of the grammar. Uh, this should be this is the grammar G equal to with the four tuples, the four variables. Uh, v T P S V is a set of variables. Uh, T is a set of terminals. Uh, capital C capital P is a set of productions. Uh, S is a starting symbol. 
So when you uh, defining any grammar for the programming language type, because of once the grammar is defined, then then only it is possible to implement the syntax analyzer. Okay, without knowing the grammar rules, uh, we can't define the syntax analyzer. Because of syntax analyzer phase main main aim is uh, to help for the process uh, to try to define some positive construction. So during that, uh, it will uh, uh, give the some kind of uh, syntax errors. Uh, means uh, the user is not followed. Uh, Uh, writing the some instruction about the some grammar rules, so that's why the grammar rules defining definition is very important. Uh, so this is the idea of the grammar. So then you know the grammar rules, then the uh, syntax analyzer know the idea regarding to that uh, whether the user's instruction or user program language statement that can be arranged according to the grammar structure or not. So that is the major we have discussed in the uh, grammar point of view. So what is the sample of the grammar? Here I am discussing that this is the sample of the grammar. So it means here I am telling uh, implies so this implication is gives us some uh, production means how many it's class is all another production that's why right, indicate the other production so from this uh, uh, I am getting for the for how many number of productions that number two productions I write separately e implies e plus t is one production another production is uh, e implies t so similarly here also how many is uh, one production is another production so write separately that is a better understanding point of view. T equal to T into F. The third production T implies F is the fourth one. And uh, another one is here also uh, some more productions. F implies F implies E, and F implies the right. So this what are the nothing but these are total for rules. Rule one, rule two, rule three, and rule four, and rule five, rule six. Means here total for how many rules are there? Total six number of rules are defined in this sample grammar. This is sample grammar you are getting. So total this comes all these comes uh, productions. Okay, production nothing but to write uh, uh, what the rules are. First rule is e equal to e plus t. Another is uh, e implies t. The second rule is to write like this t equal to t into f. Write that to write the all this. This called as uh, production. So next coming the remaining variables interacting with the variables. So what the variables are? We have calculated as uh, we started with uh, from some uh, non-terms. No, these are the variables. So we nothing but uh, e and t and d f. Okay, these are the variables. So what are the terms there? I think operators maybe because the operators now have further expansion. No, so these are called as terms, terms, star, place, parentheses, close parentheses. And this is uh, so means the first production. In the first production, you you should start with the some variable. Okay, that is called as yes. This option is called as a yes. So this idea regarding the grammar. So means the gram in the grammar you require some names of the variables, names of the terminals, and the, what are the rules? The rules are very important. These rules uh, said that for the particular program like statement, you should write exactly according to the rules of the grammar. Then only. The meaning is the user is followed the syntactic structure, okay, of the particular program language statement. So that is the major idea of the grammar. So this, I think, another point. Okay, this uh, bottom passing generally you are getting this kind of definition, and the bottom passing, okay, you are getting another kind of definition. So how you convert this uh, one into another non-left recursive? Okay, it is another topic. I will discuss at that time, but at least you are know. What is the representation of two different uh, types of representation of the grammar? Sir, in the bottom of Jenny, you follow this kind of representation. In the top down, is uh, you getting this kind of representation. How are you getting this kind of representation? I will explain in coming uh, topics. Uh, other time, uh, you getting the complete idea regarding to the top down person and the bottom of the person. And the syntax, uh, majorly syntax error handling. What type of errors they handle? Lexical errors, nothing but suppose user is missing any um, spellings. Uh, While typing the identifier name, okay, that comes under the lexical errors and the keywords. So suppose the if keyword is there by mistake, I think the two times I is pressed. Okay, it means it is not a keyword. It is a keyword. It's a keyword error. Operators, okay, sometimes uh, given the wrong typing, in the mention the operators. Okay, this uh, this all comes under the is due to some uh, misspellings of identifiers, keywords, operators that comes under the lexical errors. Another classification I for the syntax analysis is syn syntactic errors. Means uh, actually in the C programming we have you should follow like this. Okay, 
this is the i think format of the user syntax suppose the user is uh, by missing user is typing like this what is missing here left to pass is missing okay so you getting the some it's a wrong syntax misplacing of semicolons ka commas braces okay so braces are missing here or uh, unless we have put the some semicolon or uh, suppose we have taken the some declaration part is in t c a comma b you must write the some semicolon you are missing the semicolon you get in some kind of error all this comes from the syntactic errors a semantic errors meaningful okay suppose uh, i want to compare two values a equal to b it is a meaningful so i am missing a, a two equal symbol i am missing one i putting uh, some single equal the meaning is changed semantic meaning is changed that comes uh, means uh, uh, you want to misplace any operators or operands uh, sometimes the meaning is changed you getting that kind of error is called as semantic uh, error logical errors incorrect representation of the logical errors sometimes uh, it is okay okay suppose uh, while i am taking uh, while statement a is greater than 0 and the a plus plus a equal to 1 only means uh, it, it it repeat uh, infinite times the while loop is repeating infinite times it comes logically errors so means uh, the syntax uh, analysis phase it uh, finds what type of uh, major errors are there lexical errors syntax errors semantic errors and the logical errors so this i think error handling uh, in the parser uh, when you implementing the syntax on this phase uh, the meaning is uh, you are to you should be uh, defining some parser actions so finally it reporting the uh, i think some uh, errors and uh, try for accurate uh, or for it helps for accurate writing of some program language statement and uh, recover from each error quickly and enough to detect subsequent errors is all this is another purpose so add minimal overhead to the parsing of uh, correct the programs so this uh, i think uh, error handling uh, advantage is uh, uh, the syntax analysis uh, phase so this topic uh, uh, referred from the this test to book uh, how do we compile the practice techniques and the tools so this is uh, a reference of uh, uh, today topic so with this we conclude the syntax uh, analysis phase Uh, for uh, designing the parser and the parser actions, here uh, we discuss the what the role of uh, parser is. Uh, role of parser is uh, try to generating the some syntactic structure of the programming language statement or instruction according to the grammar rules. Uh, and uh, another role is uh, it finds uh, any uh, errors are there in the user program. It will report to the user regarding the error part uh, so that it is useful to the it is useful for the user for correcting the errors. Uh, so this is the syntax analysis. Uh, all this lane exit analysis all the previous class it is completed today the complete topic is uh, syntax analysis thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates